welcome back again students to another video lesson. So, after discussing the three types of factoring fi polynomials, so let's have the fourth type, which is perfect square trinomial. So, for our lesson objective, we have factor polynomials using perfect square trinomials. Before we proceed to our main discussion, let's have a short activity. Square the following binomials. So, ang square, squaring a binomial, lesson siya ng grade 7. Special products. So, in special products na yon, pinag-aaralan siya or tinuturo siya tuwing second quarter ng grade 7. Bandang huli na siya. So, let's have number 1. The quantity of x plus 3 squared. So, the steps in squaring a binomial is R, R uh, first, square the first term. So, that is x squared. Next, twice the product of the first term and the second term. So, the first term is x and the second term is 3. And then, finally, square the last term. 3 squared. And then, x times x, that is x squared plus 2 times x, 2x times 3, that is 6x. 3 squared, that is 9. So, if we square x plus 3, the product will be x squared plus 6x plus 9. Next naman, the quantity of y minus 10 squared. So, again, square the first term. Twice the product of the first and second term. And then, square the last term. So, paalala lang po. So, kung ano yung sign dito ng middle term, kung negative siya, nakadikit po siya dun sa uh, number or term, kung ano man yun. So, pag ginawa kasi natin na 10 lang, wala yung negative, magiging mali ang sagot. So, y squared. Next, 2 times y, 2y, times negative 10, that is negative 20y, and then negative 10 squared, that is positive 100. So, this is our answer. So, for our last example, the quantity of 3a plus 5b squared. So, again, square natin yung first term. 3a squared. Tapos, twice the product of the first and second term. Tapos, square the last term. Okay. So, square the first term, what is 3a times 3a? That is 9a squared. So, paano naging a squared siya? I-apply po kasi natin yung law of exponent product rule na i-add yung mga exponents. So, next, 2 times 3a, 6a, times 5b, that is 30ab. So, sa pagsulat ng mga terms, make sure yung mga variables naka-arrange sila in alphabetical order. So, hindi pwede maging ba, dapat ab, dahil nauuna yung a sa b. Plus, square, uh, the square of 5b, that is 25b squared. So, the answer for number 3 is 9a squared plus 30ab plus 25b squared. Next, factoring perfect square trinomial. So, this is the exact opposite of squaring a binomial. So, kung, mata kung matatandaan nyo yung activity natin, yung tatlong given natin kanina, is squaring a binomial. So, ngayon, given yung mga sagot, ibabalik natin siya dun sa given na may square. Okay? Yung may parenthesis. So, let's start. So, in factoring perfect square trinomial, so, ito yung mga formula na sinusunod. For example, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, ang formula niya is the quantity of a plus b squared. So, paano nangyari yun? So, pakita rin natin yung isa. So, paano nangyaring ganito yung itong given na to? Ang factored form niya, ito. So, ang gagawin lang natin, is extract natin square root ng first term na a squared, yun yung a. And then, follow natin yung sign ng middle term, kaya naging plus. So, kapag minus yung middle term natin, 
minus din yung uh, sign. And then, square root ng last term, b squared, b. So, ayan. Yung formula na yan, uh, tandaan nyo lang kasi uh, dalawa lang naman sila. Yung isa plus, isa minus. So, things to consider in factoring perfect square trinomial. So, ito yung mga dapat yung tandaan kapag nagpa-factor kayo ng perfect square trinomial. Una, the first and last terms are perfect square. So, dapat perfect square yung una tsaka huli. And then, the middle term is twice the product of the first and last terms. So, kahit na ang first term tsaka last term natin ay perfect square, kailangan pa rin natin i-check yung middle term kung twice the product ba ng first and last term yung nasa middle term. So, let's have example. x squared plus 14x plus 49. So, check natin. So, yung first term natin, x squared. So, kapag in-extract natin square root ng first term, x squared, ang sagot ay x. Next, yung last term naman natin, which is 49, square root of 49, that is 7. Now, let's check on the middle term. Kapag ba minultiply natin ng x tsaka 7 sa 2, makukuha ba ang 14x? So, let's check. Twice the product of the first and second term. 2 times x times 7, that is 14x. So, ayun. Nakuha yung middle term na 14x. So, this is a perfect square trinomial. Now, let's have example number 2. x squared plus 8x plus 64. Again, extract the first term. Extract the square root of the first term. Square root of x squared. That is x. And then, the square root of 64, the last term, is 8. Now, let's check. 2 times x times 8. So, 2 times x, that is 2x times 8, 16x. So, ang nakuha natin product is 16x. Yung middle term ng given natin is 8x. Therefore, this is not a perfect square trinomial. Ibig sabihin, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-factor using perfect square trinomial. So, here are the steps in factoring perfect square trinomial. So, yung mga steps ng factoring perfect square trinomial, nasabi ko na kanina. So, uulitin lang din ulit natin. Get the square root of the first and last terms. Next, then follow the sign of the middle term of the given polynomial. So, let's have example number 1. a squared plus 6a plus 9. So, square square root of the first term a squared that is a and then naman square root of the last term 9 that is 3 and then check natin a times 3 3a times 2 that is 6a therefore the factored form of a squared plus 6a plus 9 is the quantity of a plus 3 squared. So, ayan. Next example, number 2. m squared minus 10m plus 25. So, square root of the first term. m. Follow the sign of the middle term. Minus. Square root of the last term. 25. That is 5. So, check natin. m times negative 5 is negative 5m times 2, negative 10m. Okay. So, the factored form of m squared minus 10m plus 25 is the quantity of m minus 5 squared. Okay. Number 3, we have 2y squared plus 8yz plus 8z squared. So, mer meron tayong mga given na kailangan natin i-apply muna yung pagkuha ng common monomial factor. So, hindi natin naman pwedeng sabihin na Ah, hindi, hindi na-extract yung square root niya kasi hindi naman perfect square yung uh, mga coefficients. So, pag ganon, uh, try muna natin kunin yung common monomial factor niya. For example, this one. The common monomial factor of this given polynomial is 2. So, factor natin yung 2 sa labas and then 
2y squared divided by 2, that is y squared, plus 8yz divided by 2, that is 4yz, and then finally, 8z squared divided by 2, that is 4z squared. And then, itong term, a trinomial na nasa loob ng parenthesis, which is y squared plus 4y squared plus 4z squared, pwede na natin siyang i-factor. So, ang factor niya, huwag natin kakalimutan yung common monomial factor kasi kapag hindi natin inattach yun sa final answer, mali pa rin po yung sagot. So, the square root of y squared, that is y, follow the sign of the middle term plus, and then 4z squared, the square root of 4z squared, that is 2z, and then squared. So, this is the final answer. Next, example number 4. 9p squared minus 42pr plus 49r squared. So, again, the square root of 9p squared and the square root of 49r squared. So, the square root of 9p squared, that is 3p. And then, follow the sign of the middle term, minus. And then, the square root of 49r squared, that is 7r squared. Okay, let's check kung makukuha natin yung middle term na negative 42. 3p times negative 7r, that is negative 21pr times 2, negative 42pr. So, this is the factored form. Number 5, 36k to the 4th power plus 132k squared, q squared plus 121q to the 4th power. So, dito sa given natin, ang exponents or power na ating first and last term ay hindi 2, but 4. However, 4 is a multiple of 2. So, let's try. Square root of 36k to the 4th power, tsaka square root of 21q to the 4th power, that is, so, ito mo ng square root ng 36k to the 4th power, that is 6k. So, k to the 4th power, ilang 2 ang meron doon? So, dalawa. So, k squared. And then, follow the sign of the middle term. Plus, and then, the square root of 121 is 11. Next, q to the 4th power, what is the square root? That is 11q squared. And then, squared. Let's try checking kung makukuha natin yung middle term. 6k squared times 11q squared, that is 66k squared, q squared. And then, imumultiply nga natin sa, sa 2 kasi twice the product, 66 times 2 is 132k squared, q squared. So, nakuha natin yung middle term, therefore, this is the factored form of the given polynomial. Now, let's have number 6. So, ang number 6 natin, 100x squared plus 360xy plus 324y squared. So, kung mapapansin nyo, itong mga given numerical coefficients natin ay puro mga even numbers. So, hahanap tayo ngayon ng common monomial factor nila. So, ang common monomial factor ng tatlong coefficients na to ay 4. So, divide natin itong buo by 4. And then, if a factor natin yung 4 sa labas, so, 100x squared divided by 4, that is 25x squared, plus 360 divided by 4, that is 90, and then xy, copy lang, plus 324y squared divided by 4, that is 81y squared. And then, we can now factor the given, uh, the term and the parenthesis, yung trinomial. 4 times, what is the square root of 25x squared? That is 5x. The square root of 81y squared, that is 9y squared. So, let's check kung makukuha yung 90xy na middle term. 5x times 9y, that is 45xy times 2 90xy. So, this is our factored form. Number 7, 
b squared minus 7 over 2b plus 49 over 16. So, syempre, hindi mawawala yung fractional yung mga coefficients. So, however, yung process niya, hindi rin naman uh, nag-iiba. So, ganun pa rin naman. So, let's check. Square root of the first term and then the square root of the last term. The square root of the last term, uh, the first term is b, and then follow the sign of the middle term, minus, and then the square root of 49 over 16, that is 7 over 4 squared. So, pakita natin na makukuha yung middle term na negative 7 over 2b. So, dito ko na lang isusulat. So, b times negative 7 over 4 times 2. Okay? So, ang 2 tsaka 4, pwede natin silang i-cancel kasi meron silang common factor na 2. So, ito magiging 1 na lang and then ito, 2. So, b times negative 7, that is negative 7 b. Tapos, over 2. So, ayun. Nakuha yung middle term na negative 7 over 2 b. So, this is our answer. The quantity of b minus 7 over 4 squared. Again, para malaman kung tama ba yung factored form natin, pwede naman natin i-square yung sagot natin. Kailangan bumalik siya dun sa given natin para ma-verify na tama. And then, for our next lesson, we have factoring of general quadratic trinomial. So, ito yung pinakahuling uh, type ng factoring of general quadratic trinomial base sa nilabas na most essential learning competencies ng DepEd. So, ito yung medyo, ano, medyo challenging ng konti kasi nakakaroon tayo dito ng trial and error. Okay? So, yun lang. Sana may natutunan kayo dito sa video.